Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and others have greatness thrust upon them. Sweet are the uses of adversity which, like the toad, ugly and venomous, wears yet a precious jewel in his head. Reputation is an idle and most false opposition, oft got without merit, and lost without deserving. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. And this, our life, exempt from public haunt, finds tongues in trees, books in the running brooks, sermons in stones, and good in everything. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player, that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more, it is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Doubt thou the stars are fire, doubt that the sun doth move, doubt truth to be a liar, but never doubt I love. My bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love is deep, the more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. Love is heavy and light, bright and dark, hot and cold, sick and healthy, asleep and awake. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. To be, or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? It is silliness to live when to live is torment, and then have we a prescription to die when death is our physician. That but this blow might be the be all and the end all here. But here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. Nor stony tower, nor walls of beaten brass, nor airless dungeon, nor strong links of iron, can be retentive to the strength of spirit. But life, being weary of these worldly bars, never lacks power to dismiss itself. So weary with disasters, tugged with fortune, that I would set my life on any chance, to mend, or be rid on't. Though well we may not pass upon his life, without the form of justice, yet our power, shall do a courtesy to our wrath, which mean, may blame, but not control. Who will believe my verse in time to come, if it were filled with your most high deserts? Though yet heaven knows it is but as a tomb, which hides your life, and shows not half your parts. Come what sorrow can, it cannot countervail the exchange of joy, that one short minute gives me in her sight. Excellent wretch! Perdition catch my soul, but I do love thee, and when I love thee not, chaos is come again.